Oh my God, this is such a disgusting story. Don't ever leave me in the car alone. <laughs> Welcome back to Chats with Charles. So this week I want to do a story time for you guys. Um, specifically a story time about when I shit myself. So let's jump into it. Okay, so basically what had happened was one day my mom wanted me to go to Kohl's with her and my brother and my little cousin. And so we get to Kohl's and she's like, we're going to go inside really quick. We'll be right back. And I'm like, okay, no worries. So then me and my cousin are just sitting in the car and you know, we're just chilling or whatever and I did not have to go to the bathroom at all whatsoever but um, Out of nowhere my stomach started rumbling and I thought okay, maybe I'm hungry, you know And so she left us in the car with the windows down and we didn't have the keys so we're sitting in the car and out of nowhere my stomach starts rumbling like crazy and I'm like, oh my god, what's going on? So next thing you know, I fart. And I'm like, oh my god, like, ew, that fucking stinks. And I was like, oh my god, like, I was thinking to myself, did I shit myself while I just farted at the same time? I was like, oh my god, did I just shart myself? Like, what is life? And I was just like, and my little cousin, okay, so I was around like, like seven years old at the time and he was about like, I don't know, four years old maybe. And so we were sitting in the car and he's like, ew, it stinks. And I'm like, oh my God, what just happened? And I'm like, bitch, I'm gone. Like, I don't like it. I don't like this at all. I don't like it. So, um, me being six years old and stupid and not knowing if I shat myself or not, I got my hand and I put it in my pants to see if I had shit myself or not. And I pull my hand back out, and my hand is covered in shit. Like, completely covered, like, it looked like a fucking chocolate-covered pretzel, okay? And I was like, I was like, oh my god, I just shit myself. And I was like, oh my god, what do I do? Because I'm sitting in the car with my little cousin, the windows are rolled down, my hand is covered in shit, and I don't have the keys to the car, so I can't just lock the door and go inside and use the bathroom or like wash my hands. Plus I can't go inside because my hand is covered in shit. So I'm like, fuck, what do I do? I just, in any circumstance, I can't leave my cousin in the car. I can't leave the car. I can't go inside. It didn't work out in any way. So me being me, I didn't want to sit in my own shit. So I got up out of the car and I put my hand behind my back and I was just waiting for my mom to get back. And every time people would pass by, they would be like, and like, they would look at me, they would be like, what is this kid doing? Like, you know, he's just standing outside the car. And I was just like, oh my God. I was like, bitch, come help God, come help me. Like, God, where are you at? Come through, why me? Like, why today? Like, what is this? Like, oh. At the time, I did not have a cellular phone. So I couldn't just call my mom and be like, hey, I just shit myself, can you like, come take me home so I could go shower and no. I'm standing outside with shit all over my hand and my little cousin's in the car and I'm waiting outside for about maybe 45 minutes to an hour. I don't know, it was really long. I was so like, oh my God, where are these people? Like I need to freaking get this shit off my hand. And I was so embarrassed because people would just walk by and they would just like look at me like maybe they can smell my shit. Next thing you know, my mom comes back and she's like, what happened? Why are you standing outside? Me. My hand's covered in shit, her. Oh my God. I was like, mom, I pooped myself. She was like, she was like, why didn't you just like go inside and like leave the car open? Like who was gonna go inside the car? I was like, you're crazy. She always has water bottles in the trunk. So she got the water bottles and she poured them on my hand and I just like kind of like rinsed my hands or whatever and she was like laughing at me the entire time and my brother too and I was so embarrassed because there was people walking by while this was happening. There was people looking at me while I was washing the shit off my hands with the water bottle and it was so embarrassing. It was like one of the most, it's like the worst thing that's ever happened to me publicly because there was a lot of people watching, people going back and forth and like looking at me and like 
Oh my god, it was so embarrassing and I was so sad that day. The fact that I shit myself and I put my hand in my pants to check if I shit myself. Oh my god, like I knew I shit myself, but I'm right there putting my hand in my pants. Like, what is this? What is this? Like, bitch, I'm gone. No, bye. Sit down. You know you're just sit in your own shit and deal with it. I made things worse. I made things ten times worse. I put my hand in my pants. Like, oh my gosh. I, it's good enough that it was already, like, all up in there, you know? But now it's on my hand. Like, I use these hands to eat. I use these hands to do, like, stuff. You know? Stuff like that. So now, I will forever be scarred. After that experience, I was just like, you know what? You know what? I am never fucking staying in the car alone. Ever. And you best be leaving the keys if I do. That has never happened again, and I will never let it happen again. I have a cell phone now. I make sure they leave the keys with me, and I don't know, but it's not gonna happen. But I mean, if you wanna go ahead and leave me in the car alone, go ahead, you'll have a brand new air freshener. Shit breeze. Flaming back on. Flaming back on. So yeah, that's it for this week's video. I'm, I hope you guys super liked my story about when I shit myself. Um, if you'd like to see more story times or more videos like this, please like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for upcoming videos, just leave them down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys next week on Chats with Chara. Hey, yeah.